Hello friends, it's Mia and Mickey. Today we're at Epcot. We're here for Epcot International Festival of the Arts 2024. This festival starts today, January 12th, and ends on February 19th. This festival is the shortest Epcot festival, but it really is filled with many beautiful things. It is our favorite festival. If you like and appreciate the arts, then this festival is for you. It's filled with foods, entertainment, music, artwork, and my favorite, shopping. Yeah, is that an art? Minnie's out greeting the guests on the first day of Epcot International Festival of the Arts. It is our first time back here in 2024. And wow, what a way to start 2024 with Festival of the Arts, our favorite festival. We already stopped in and took a look at the pins as we will show you in the video so you can see what pins are available here for the festival. Here are the four pins for Festival of the Arts. It's all about figment, but we do have one with Mickey on it. This one right here is the pass holder pin. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer so you can see each and every one of these pins. So here is the pin we picked up. It's a pass holder pin and it's spinner. And there's figment on it because Zygmunt is the hostess with the most is here at Festival of the Arts. Ricky and I will be showing you a little bit of everything here at the festival. This way, if you've never been here, you can take a look and see what you can expect out of this festival. We do highly recommend this festival. It's January. It's beautiful weather today. It's a little um, cloudy but it's beautiful weather, it's warm. Right here, there's a paint by number mural. You see everybody joining in and painting, which I think we are gonna get an online for this because we do this every year. It is really fun and you'll see what the mural looks like at the end of this video. We're actually gonna show you the mural, not at the end of the video, when Ricky finishes painting his um, masterpiece. He's gonna get his rim ram on, you know what I mean? Ricky's gonna paint five little squares and his color is number five. He's gonna find all the little squares that say five and he's gonna paint five in a row or five in a square, it doesn't matter the way you paint. One more square somewhere else, it doesn't matter. You can walk around and paint, whatever, but we like to just stay in one area. So we're gonna see what happens when Ricky finishes his artwork. Oh, that's beautiful, Ricky. All right, great job. Great job, Ricky. It's gonna be a new design for this year's festival. It's actually, a, it's gonna be over there next to Guardians of the Galaxy in the front of the park. Oh, that's wonderful, I love it. You got the monorail and Epcot, thank you. So when you come here, these are the four murals that will be available on the day you come. So we have the top mural today, but the other murals are also gonna be available. We, you don't know which one you're gonna get when you're here, but anyway, do it, it's fun. One thing I forgot to mention is when you walk into the park, or you can get these at any store if you forget to get your guest passport. Basically, it'll tell you what's available here at the festival. From the Thomas Kincaid Gallery, here is a beautiful painting of Alice in Wonderland. The princesses are my favorite, so I have a tendency to look at all the artwork that are the princesses, and I love this one with Belle and the Bees at Christmas time. It is gorgeous. Here's one of the artists at Thomas Kincaid. Her name is Allison Brook, and she is drawing Fairy Godmother on the back of the artwork that I purchased, which I will show you later on in this video. And here is the finished piece. And what I purchased is Cinderella and Prince Charming's wedding day. So 
So Allison is drawing on Ricky's canvas piece that he selected. Oh, we can't wait to see what it is, okay? It's a surprise, so there you go. In one, two, three, big reveal coming up. So here on Ricky's canvas, Allison drew Stitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> and this is what Ricky picked out. Lilo and Stitch. Our first piece of artwork here at Festival of the Arts in a few years. If I find one of Mr. Walt Disney, which I would love for my collection, I'll purchase that too. But um, as far as what we just received, we're so happy. The artists that painted those paintings, they're not here. These are um, artists that um, are sort of newer artists and their work is not here yet. Okay, so I am loving this picture by Tim Rogerson of Walt on the train with Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. It's $150. What do you think, guys? Should I get it? Find out real soon. Here we have Tim Rogerson. He is going to sign this part of the 100 year art. celebration too, so we got the 100 year logo on there. Oh, that's wonderful. That is so nice to know. Such a big fan of Walt. Let's see what he's sketching for us here. We'll show you at the end when he's done. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, wow. Conductor Mickey. Actual barn, and they kept it, and it's at Carrollwood now. It's like, a, it's like a train museum. In California. In California, yeah. Oh, we have to visit. Thank you so much. So we found our Walt Masterpiece. And do you know that Tim lives in celebration? Sorry. He lives very close to Epcot. Celebration is like 20 minutes from here, more or less. I never knew that. It's nice to know. He is here every year and he's been here for several years, but I've never stopped work. I've never stopped at his booth. This is the first time. Of course, that Walt on the train, it just pulled me in. We're now heading into the inspiration station. We hear there's a new popcorn bucket. Let's go check it out. Here's the new Figment popcorn bucket. It lights up and comes with Figment, the rainbow, and some color flavored popcorn. So the line for the popcorn bucket is a little long, but you can mobile order and then you go and pick up. And if you have someone with special needs that just cannot wait online, let the cast member know and they will determine if they'll let you in, you know, before your time. But anyway, that's it. It's $30, I believe, with tax. It's cute. I like it. Did we get it? Wait till the end of the video to find out. So there's these little boots, picture boots, with characters that you can take your photo or video at. So you might want to uh, check it out while you're here. Actually, we have a little clip for you. Spin again. So soaring over California has been brought back here to Walt Disney World at Epcot because a lot of people wanted this ride back here or this version of soaring here at Epcot. So, my feelings on the whole thing, how about soaring over Florida? Keep the soaring one in California and bring the Florida one here to Florida.
Okay, that was real fun. Yeah, memories like the corners of my mind. Yes. Ricky especially was so excited because he just loves California, misses it so much. And this, you know, helped his curb his desire, at least for today. Anyway, we are going to get something to eat because the food here at Festival of the Arts, the menu is different, the food is artistic. So, let's go order some, because I'm hungry. How about you, Rick, hungry? Yeah? Yeah, he's hungry. This is what we picked up to try this evening. This is the grilled pork belly, and this is available at the Craftsman's Courtyard. It has salsa verde, broccoli raw, pickled peppers, and ricotta cheese, and a grilled sourdough on a grilled sourdough. So it's an open face sandwich. And right here, which Ricky is super excited about, Deco Delights, he picked out, there's only one thing to pick out there, it's the Napolitan Dessert Trio, which is chocolate tart, vanilla bean cheesecake, and strawberry mousse. We are gonna try the open face pork belly sandwich first and see how that tastes. We'll give us will give us, we'll give you our honest review. Although, you know, food, clothes, art, it all depends on the person. So I'm gonna try it first and then I'm gonna hand it over to Ricky. I didn't think I was gonna like this, but I do like it. It's a little spicy. It has a little kick. Can I get a picture of y'all? So, sure. yeah, that's yes. the ball, baby. Like, we love y'all. You know, oh, you've seen yes. my Yes. How you doing? He loves nice. How you doing? Oh, he loves y'all. He is. Oh, he loves y'all. Y'all are his favorite. Thank you. Can we get one with you guys? Get somebody I'll, I'll to take, take it with y'all. I'll take yeah. it with you. Sure? Yeah. Okay. So, you guys, we met the nicest people Will and his wife are out here from Texas and they were so nice we'll put a photo right here so you can see meet Will they watch our channel wow that was a surprise and I got a little emotional I didn't almost know what to do because it's so exciting to um, meet our YouTube followers I want to move out here hopefully their dreams will come true and I'm sure they will Believing, dreaming, and just doing. So I'm sure it will. Anyway, we're gonna let Ricky try the sandwich with the vegetables. Let's see what he says. Come on, food critic. Eat it. Uh oh. How are we doing there? What do we think? Do we like it? Yeah, we do. Oh, cool. I'm glad you like it. I wasn't sure there for a minute he was gonna like the broccoli raw, but he likes it. That's great. So now we're gonna try the desserts. Check out the chocolate mousse. Try the strawberry, and I think we're gonna try that one first. I'm gonna give these a try, and then I'm gonna hand it over to Ricky. Mm. Oh, cool. Truly, it doesn't have much flavor. It's not real sweet, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Bad? No. Out of this world? No. Mm -hmm. The blue one? That one's real good. Okay, let's try the chocolate one. So the chocolate one is good. You can't really go wrong with chocolate, especially if you like chocolate. Mm-hmm. All of them are good, but the pink one is the one I like the least. Yeah. I think the other two are real good. Still, order this because it's really not bad, and you know what? Your kids will love it. Okay, Ricky. You're up. You gonna try the pink one first? He's smiling at the camera. <laughs> okay, you gotta slow down there, Rick. Enjoy, savor. Ricky, look at me. 
thumbs up or down? It is a thumbs up. You like it? Yeah. Try the second one. Or the blue one. Last but not least, I think this one will be Ricky's favorite. Ricky, which one do you like the best? The pink, the blue, or the chocolate? The chocolate, of course. So, Ricky, the food was thumbs up or down? Show everybody thumbs up. All right. Should they order it when they come here? Yeah. The pork belly? Yeah. And the desserts? All right. We're heading into the creations shop because we want to see what merchandise came in for Festival of the Arts. Here's the new figment hey. munchlings. We'll see, we'll see you. This he is, is, I think, an eclair. That's what I believe he is. He is so cute. $19.99 for figment. Ricky, what do you have in your hand? Who is that? Ricky, we can't hear you, honey. <laughs> So yeah, what's his name? What's his name? Fig Figment. Figment, that's right. He's a cutie. And how much is he? How much is Figment? $24.99. Here's the Festival of the Arts jersey. Here's the front and there's the back. Here's a Figment mug. And this one here is $19.99. Oh, really cute. Look at this. It was a paint mug. Here's a Festival of the Arts t-shirt with figment. This one here is $34.99. This one's really cool because it has the paintbrush, the art pencil, and the music note. Here's a figment water bottle. Ricky, how much is the water bottle, my son? $54.99. $54.99. Oh, it's a Corsicle. Here's a ladies t-shirt. It's Figment. And let's see how much this t-shirt is. $39.99 for this Figment ladies t-shirt. Here's a Figment baseball cap. This one here is Ricky. How much is the cap? $29.99. $29.99 for an Epcot International Festival of the Arts 2024 figment framed. Uh, yeah, it's a framed figment. Here's a Disney Parks lug. It's a backpack. It's figment. It's all about Festival of the Arts 2024. Now, I don't mind the year being on it because the backpack is so nice. Check out the zipper back here. This is really nice. Plenty, plenty of room for things. Oh, yes, this is very nice. It's all lined, part of it in plastic. Let me see if you can see this better. Well, you can see the shininess there. That's plastic. But right here, it's material. The backpack lug is $90. Pass holder merchandise. Here's your t-shirt. Tie-dye, which I'm loving for $39.99. So besides everything that you've been seeing for these few hours, we recommend going to the American Pavilion and right across the way, they are having like Broadway shows and it's different every, I don't know if it's every week or every two weeks, but tonight I think it was Frozen. They're also we also um, featuring uh, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, and The Lion King. Now, check before you come and see the times, which are usually 5.30, 6.45, and 8, 8 p.m. If you want to watch the show, you can also do a meal with that show. 
and you can always look on the Disney Parks blog for all the detail. If you have kids, or maybe you want to do this if you come by yourself or with a spouse or with some friends, but you can go around and you can do a scavenger hunt. And each location, you can find out where each location is right here on the map. And when you find these portraits, you're going to put it in the area that you found that specific portrait in. Say, say this was Japan. It's not, but say it was, and then we would put the sticker right here in Japan. It's $9.99 with tax for this, and it's a lot of fun, and we highly recommend doing this. At the end, you will win a prize. Although, truly, you don't have to complete the whole thing to get the prize. You can just pick up the prize without completing the map, but we recommend you do, because it's fun. While you're walking around, looking at everything, that's just one more thing to do, and it's just fun. So this is what you will receive when you complete the scavenger hunt, either a figment or a mini or a Mickey, and then you can paint them yourself. Okay, friends, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed spending time with us here at Festival of the Arts. Anyway, let us know what you thought in the comments below. And by the way, I did not pick up that popcorn bucket. Oh, because I already have a figment one. Till we meet again in the next vlog. We will see you. Bye, everybody. We love you. Bye-bye. Have a magical night. Because it is night. Or wherever you are. Morning, afternoon. Bye-bye.